Hey guys, Redstone Ben here today, and welcome to a video uh, with the recent release of Snapshot 14W19A, I think. Uh, they've added it so that slime blocks propel entities sideways as well. So this is great news for cannoneers, I'm going to call them, and map makers especially, and almost everyone in Minecraft, because this adds a really cool feature where you can bounce people around completely. So one thing that I've invented, just quickly on the spot, I wanted to get a video out here. As you can see off in the distance, I've been, you know, trying all sorts of things. Uh, I made a quick little TNT cannon. Now, if you've already seen Seth Bling's video, uh, his is a little different. It's a little bigger as well. And mine works a little differently as well. It has a customizable uh, explode time. So if you want it to have a full explosion delay for it to explode, like after it hits the ground, or so you want it to explode almost in midair. So this is really good for uh, new cannoneers and um, cannoners, okay, I guess that's a better word. Uh, but it's also good for experienced ones, I, I, I guess if you want to, um, you know, I don't know, it's, it's good for everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and head and shoot it. So it does work with a lever, so you uh, right click once to um, arm it so the TNT will get dispensed and then you click again when you want it to shoot so I'll show you like this and we can shoot now so it will shoot with the slime blocks and as you can see it kind of exploded in the air there now if I do this really quickly then it will explode a couple seconds after it hits the ground so how you change that time is just the delay between the two lever hits so uh, I can wait really late and it'll explode higher in the air. So it's a really cool thing if you're cannoning simple bases on, you know, a simple SMP server. Um, but yeah, I'll show you how to build it in a second. Um, before I get to that, uh, I am coming out with some more videos to do with slime blocks. Everything from fun little trampolines, definitely a lot more with cannons. Uh, I do have some stuff with minecart, uh, TNT minecarts coming out soon with this sort of design. I'm having some troubles with it. Also, item cannons, arrow cannons, everything I can. Even if other YouTubers have it, I want to get it out there too with my own little kind of compact version of it. And it's raining. Oh, I love this, this thing. If you type that and hit tab, look at that. Types the whole command. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely having some more videos coming out soon. I might even do a hybrid with slime blocks. I'm not sure if it's worth it though because they don't go that far. And I've also been experimenting with uh, if this is the fastest way to bounce it, if that's the maximum it can be bounced. Uh, so yeah, let's get to building it. So we'll build it in this direction. It doesn't really matter, but I'll do it the same way also so I can reference it. Uh, I started by making a obsidian circle and dig two down in the middle, place a sticky piston and a slime block. So that will be the main piece that uh, bounces out. Um, it will start up like that and that will start uh, poking out as well. Uh, you can build a little kind of obsidian ring around it. And then we want our dispenser, so our dispenser will be here, and then we can put that back. So if you don't want to be shooting TNT and just items, you can also use a dropper, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then we want a space here with a lever flicked down. Uh, you can place a torch there, and then a block above it, and then a torch here, another block above it. Uh, by the way, the reason I'm using obsidian is because uh, if there's any mishaps with explosions, uh, this is a guaranteed way that, you know, a lot of your foundation of your cannon won't explode. And then back here, we're going to have two pieces of redstone and then one repeater pointing that way. You're going to dig down. You can uh, place obsidian here if you really want. Uh, put a piece of redstone down here. That will activate the bottom piston. And then you're going to have another a piece of obsidian there or any other block depending on what you use. So this is pretty much the whole canyon, cannon, excuse me, as you can see. Uh, there's not a lot else you have to do. Uh, what you can do if you want is just build up around here like I did on uh, your design. 
And that's pretty much it. So all we do is we grab some TNT and we put it in our dispenser. Go like that and then shoot it. And as you can see, I built it on the same uh, block length. So the explosion is the same. That's after quite a few explosions. That's just one. And for uses, um, I'd say probably just normal bases. I mean, if you're a hardcore T and T cannon, or um, you're probably going to be using hybrids. So until I come out with a video for that, um, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the design. Um, the reason why I kind of thought it was worth posting is, first of all, it's pretty compact. And second of all, well, more compact than Seth Bling's test one on his snapshot overview video. And it also has this uh, lever function where you can customize the time in which it can explode, which I think is useful for a lot of new cannoners because they uh, maybe, I don't want to judge here, but a lot of people don't really know all the things about repeater delays. Uh, so it's really useful to be able to just use your, um, use your head and say, okay, well, you know, our wall is, our wall is here and we need it to hit as soon as it hits the wall we need it to explode so i'm going to wait about one two three four and then bam and it'll ex explode once it hits the wall so that's pretty much it guys so yeah once again thanks for watching and yeah peace out